So right now, let's go and create the register, which is very important. All right, guys, now let's go and deal with the register. So in reality, guys, we don't need here the, the name, okay? We need only the email and password. Okay, let's le let's leave it right now. Right now, let's go in register. I'm going. Where is the register? Here. Fine. Right. What I want right now, I want to import. Axios from because I want to make request uh, uh, this dude did something with VS Code I don't know why mm. so anyway let's go in register right now I'm gonna make uh, let's go to login just go and take this it's gonna be the same you need of course here the look here we got mistake because we need to put the use state beautiful after this let's go and deal with the Ah, guys, guys, guys. So, we need to create a const. You know what? I'm creating it. I can take it here. Just take it, dude. Come on, Codito. This is. Do it right. So, after this, let's take the on change also. It's the same things. Okay. Control copy. Boom. Uh, let's go and take right now, guys. Login. We want to take this. Copy. Go to register, paste, register, cool, let's take register, submit, alright, uh, let me see right now, post, we want to hit the register, right, uh, user of course here we need the the name guys so name we are gonna put user dot name but I don't see here what happened again with VS Code right we see the name Uh, after this, let's go and put um, name set user name yes email password set error rest of the menus g error rest of the menus g okay sorry guys about this when you code for hours you know what happens. <laughs> You, you get a little bit crazy <laughs> so um, let's go right now and go here in form and put on submit is gonna be register submit okay 
put his this before required we need to put here the value is gonna be user dot name beautiful also we need the on change is gonna be on change input beautiful copy this to dudes go here uh, okay we need here the email right on change input uh, yes after this go here here okay we need the uh, we need the password yes okay what happened on page register okay we need the password after this um, i believe we are ready now to continue okay we got it okay let's go here in uh, login i'm gonna record the register from register i'm going to enable the register right and let's see damn it unexpected use of history ah i know register go in a register we don't want the history here delete okay let's see where are we go to login and we go to the register right now you ready to did okay we don't want this go again here uh where is right now register we need the l right of course we need no back to home it's a little bit nasty let's write home right now it's better uh let's go right now guys and okay we imported it let's go to login we want to create a user right now our user i'm gonna put uh codeman Codeman. I'm just gonna put you can put whatever you want, but remember the password just write in a paper Okay, right now We got two users Let's see Come on reload Okay, we got two users. Uh, let me go here. The name Codeman. Codeman. Email. Let's put, I'm gonna put Codeman. Gmail.com. Right? And the password. Codeman three two one. 
register let's say user validation page username path username is required uh, let me see why internal server username Fail username path username is required name why maybe I made a mistake let's see in a register let me see all right guys we have the problem that if we write for example error if i put for example this mail and just put whatever else we see this user validation field username path username username pi path username is required this happens because uh, we got in the back end look uh, where is the server let's see the back end in model let's say in model uh, model so many things here it's easy to get confused uh, models user model look we got user model in we got username email and password okay and uh, here in register i put it name email and password the name does not match with the username that we have uh, the fields that we put here okay and we want to post must be the same look here in order to understand something very important okay here uh, uh, where is the post okay this is the post and we post these fields the password and the email, the email we have to post the same things that we have in model we got username email and password okay here we got email password but not username we have to put username user dot username uh, what I'm doing let's put user na name okay also uh, here initially we, we want user name right uh, here no don't confuse with this name this name targets i'm gonna show you what name targets this name here also you need your their name Did you remember about what is target uh, the name that I told you? It targets this. And here we have to put the username. User name. Okay. Also here we need user name. Let's see. Here we don't touch it because it targets uh, things. Uh, we don't touch it this all right i believe we are okay 
let's reload just okay i'm gonna put codeman right now i'm gonna put an email you can put whatever you want and whatever email and password you want but remember what you are putting just write it in a paper or somewhere i'm just gonna write codeman gmail.com right i'm just gonna put codeman uh codeman three two one okay i'm just gonna register and look register success if i go now and reload it i'm just gonna write it somewhere guys in order to have so codeman codeman three two one and the email of codeman okay this is educational but i want to know that also i can delete it i'm not worried okay I've got now and look now we are hashing this password. It's a huge right now. For this reason I I told you to remember the password because this is uh, by Big Crypt and JSON web token web token is being hashed. It's going to be it's being a uh, huge. You don't know now. If you want you can create another register with the same way. Right now I don't want to use this bye bye i also don't want to use this bye bye and i will just uh, keep all the code man code ma i write and not ma so let me <laughs> write it correctly guys so code ma Uh, okay. Code man. Uh, code man. All right. Um, so you should remember your password yet that uh, you put it, also your email, because we will need it uh, later. So if you will, if you don't remember, just create another, another one right now with the same way that uh, we did it here. Okay. After this, I don't want to see this anymore, guys. I'm just gonna disable. Just going. Uh, close the register. Bye bye. Okay. Don't need this. Bye bye. I want. Don't. I want to go here in in a register. just disable it bye bye and now i can see the register also i want to disable let's disable and register here bye bye and here if you go and write the code man or your own you your own uh, things that uh, you you registered you have been registered codeman uh, um, okay the password no here i remember it was codeman but i put it password is gonna be codeman three two one look 
and boom, we got access. If I go back right now and write got the map. And just write a mistake. Look, incorrect password. If also I write something different, let's see. User does not exist. Okay, that was guys. It is fully functional right now. Right. Uh, we created the register, we created the login, we created the form. Right now, I want to deal with the um, with the now bar. I'm gonna hide it. I want to appear it only if the login is correct. We have some things to do. Okay, that was 